Hello everyone, um, this is a little bit of a different video of what I normally do on uh, my channel, but uh, recently this game is called uh, Train Simulator Pro USA if you are unaware. I really used to love this game and play it a lot as I have five or six seasons out right now. Uh, main reason why I stopped is because uh, I'm just going to do this as an example. Like, once I get the required amount like this, like here, I'm going to use all locomotives. I, yeah, like, after that mark, I can't add the uh, any more cars to the rear, which I hate because I loved hauling those super long freight trains. But even then, that's still a pretty long train. You just gotta get lucky, I guess. But, um, a question that I recently got, um, a couple times, was, uh, DLCs and stuff like that. Um, I would have to go back into the early days of the video. Um, so basically, um, this thing says, um, this GPE-38 was a DLC for the Jorgen. But it would say here you would need to reach a an uh, required level and have enough uh, money for it. That's kind of what it is. That's the best way I can describe it for you. Um, I think I did a video on that when I purchased the um the Oregon Railway. I forget what I called it. What I called this. Um, let me go to the map. So this was its own railway for a long time. This orange area, the Oregon side, and we would interchange with them here at Vancouver. Um, we then purchased the line because the railway was struggling. We became the Washington and Oregon Railroad. And then after we unlocked all this, we became the Maryland and Western Pacific. With the top of our line ending at Canada. Vancouver, Canada. Um, the best thing I can do, I think it was either in season 2 or 3 where, where I purchased that. The Oregon Division. I, uh... Like... I'm trying to think, hold on. I definitely know I talked about it in one of the videos when I purchased the uh, Oregon thing. I'm sorry, I just had to do that real fast. Um, so... I think the best bet for you guys, I, much as I would love to help y'all, you're kind of on your own for this one. But the best bet to do is uh, go to either Season 2 or 3 to where I purchased the, lot, the Oregon line to uh, help out. But, um, let's actually do a mission because... We haven't played this game in so long that we'll do a, a return. Now that mission is way too damn long. We'll do the Oregon Factory. Yeah, like, see, I can't even add any more freight cars, so I kind of don't like hauling, doing that kind of stuff, but I really like hauling long trains. So we'll do a mixture. Game developers, if you see this, please make it back to where I can drive long trains again, because I really enjoyed that.
And another reason why I stopped playing this game is because the AI trains zip around at mock Jesus. That is the best way I can describe it. And it makes it totally unrealistic like it, the game once was. <coughs> That's kind of like the main reason why I stopped playing. I want to say the lettering and the numbering on the cars are new, but I could be wrong. For those of you who don't know, the Olympia Food Factory is one of the more annoying food factories. Come on. Like, see, I can't barely pr press the horn now. But, uh, the Olympia Food Factory is one of the more annoying food factories, but I've learned to deal with it. You just gotta take the log way. So we have 85.13 and 607 or DP9. Hold on, is that window open? Okay, that's cool. Oh wow, they even changed the rain physics too. Wipers aren't really good though. Another reason why I stopped playing this game is because the colors are missing in some of the lights. If that's the solid white, and that's supposed to be green. But this is like why, why I stopped playing, because the little stuff like this irks me so much. That just made the game unenjoyable for me. Let's see, also this. I used to be able to go five miles over the speed limit. There's no issue. And 
And now I can't. That's about normal speed for the passenger train, but the last time I recorded one, it just went like flying. What time is it? Wow, 12.30 in the morning. Where am I? <coughs> Alright, I'm going to tie this train down in the Yakima train yard and then I'll have a crew take care of it tomorrow. I still own and manage the Maryland and Western Pacific Railway even though I don't play the game a lot. I still manage it to make sure we're still rolling on time. We have not had any derailments either. I'm currently looking over the ownership of the uh, Lakeland and Black Valley Railroad and maybe technically purchasing the railroad. Well, that'll be fun. But yeah, um, also talking about the uh, subject on the matter, like I said, um, you have to go back and rewatch re some of my old videos. Uh, everything in this game is in one huge playlist, or in multiple, blah, 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 is in multiple playlists. I have different seasons. That I want to say is either season two or three, maybe even four when I purchased the Oregon route, so. You'll have to go through it. <coughs> yeah, see, like, look at this train. Going super fast at Mach Jesus. That is definitely not 55 miles an hour. Well, okay, yes, passenger trains can go 110, but still. Yeah, yeah, that is definitely not 55 miles an hour. Look how fast that freight train's moving. Personally, I'm not going to be playing this game until they fix this. I did put in a request. The developer did not get back to me, but I pray to God that they fix this. Because this game used to be fun. Like, really, really fun.
I know that these tankers have to go to, um, to the, uh, oh my gosh, what's, this? what's that place called? I know that those tankers have to go to Portland train yard, so. I'll just tie it down here and leave, leave it for another crew. But anyways, guys, um, so I'm going to do a little more explaining on this situation. Um, let me get in the cab. So, this game, I like I said, I'm putting it on hold because of all the little bugs and complaints I've had. But, uh, you guys might not be bothered by it, but me, I am. But, uh, if you do have questions on the, the DLCs, I recommend checking out some of my earlier videos. Because they, uh, do explain it a lot more. Truth be told, it's been so long that I kind of forget how to do it. So, I wish I could help you out, but the best thing I can say is, watch my other videos. And, I just don't want to, you know, sound rude. But, that's really the best thing I can do for you, for y'all. Just basically tell you to go watch the other videos, because they explain the situation more. But anyways guys, I hope this information was useful, and if not, um, I'll try to figure out, or try to go through my content and uh, come up with a better answer for you guys. But until next time, this is Lowville Real Fan Productions, signing out for the night.